question you want to ask yourself is why are the Russians doing this? This is Realpolitik 101. And the fact that people in the West, especially in places like Britain and the United States, don't understand this boggles my mind. I just don't understand it. The idea that you could take a military alliance run by the United States, the most powerful state in the world, and run it up to Russia's borders, and the Russians wouldn't be bothered by it, is simply unthinkable. We in the United States have the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine says that no distant great power is allowed to form a military alliance with a country in the Western Hemisphere, and is certainly not allowed to move military forces into the Western Hemisphere. I remember the Cuban Missile Crisis very well. What happened there is the Soviets put nuclear-tipped missiles in Cuba. The United States said, this is categorically unacceptable. Military forces from afar are not allowed in the Western Hemisphere. And we had the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the end result is those missiles were removed. When the Soviets were later talking about building a naval base at Cienfuegos, the United States told them in no uncertain terms, you are not building a naval base at Cienfuegos. Just not going to happen. The United States views the Western Hemisphere as its backyard, and it prohibits distant great powers from coming into its backyard. Well, don't you think the Russians are going to be deeply disturbed by the United States turning Ukraine into a bulwark right on its borders? Of course they are. And the Russians told us that immediately after the Bucharest summit. The Russians made it categorically clear, categorically clear that Ukraine is not going to become part of NATO.